uh, Etin, you have also kind of moving in a direction where you are a lot concerned about wellness of the world, your wellness, people's wellness. And the, your latest venture, Countable, uh, you are, uh, although you're a CPA, but it's a tech platform for CPA by CPA. Uh, tell us a little bit more about your second innings, how, how things have changed for you, how your perception has changed and about Countable as well. Yeah, um, thank you. And thank you for the question. And uh, Rahul, I, I think part of it resonates with me, um, the way my journey happened. I moved about 15 years ago uh, to Toronto and, uh, and I've been in the grind for, I cannot imagine how long. And being an accountant, you know, you, you live for January to May and the rest of the year is, uh, is catching up the breath so you can get ready for the next year. And, and try living that for the rest of your life. And it's just, uh, by the time you come out of the um, December holidays, you're already anxious going into the busy time of the year. It is a very, very different lifestyle. And so there's no thinking time, um, no time particularly, you're always behind the eight ball. So, you know, when you get to the top and you look at it and all you see is success, but no satisfaction. And then you start to define satisfaction differently. Um, because you've tried all kinds of money aspects of it. You can spend as much as you want. You can take trips, you can do whatever, but you're still craving this learning, creating, experiencing opportunities that you just don't get. And then I come across the book, Be the Change You Want to See, and, and something that I was not really truly resonating until I really hit her heart and start to realize that where is my passion is there, but the alignment of purpose was not there. Why am I solving a problem of one person at a time? How do we really take the passion and align that with the purpose that allows you to solve a billion people problem if we can, or a million people problem if we can? And, and why are we not doing it? Why is it so hard? And, and we're still working 18 hours a day. So what's not changing? And why don't we use that direction a little bit differently? And maybe we can make a meaningful shift. And, and that's what caused Countable to come to exist. We are a platform which are focused on education as a bedrock um, and, uh, and we're looking to build something that allows people to save time and give them that thinking time, then they can choose, then they have a choice. They can choose to either go out and get more clients or choose to spend that time with the family and improvement for themselves and so on and so forth. And that's where the education piece comes in, where now we wanna you know, help them understand how life, the way we understand, the way other people understand, how life could be truly balanced um, in a meaningful manner. So that's what the goal of Carnival and my, my particular goal is. Excellent. Uh, that's a great thing. Uh, so yes, so, uh, I think you're absolutely correct. I think uh, in, a, in a very uh, famous book of uh, Napoleon Hill, he, he clearly mentioned that success is not what you've achieved. Success is measured by number of uh, obstacles you have overcome. It's not, it's not measured by number of things that you have. It's measured by number of obstacles you've overcome. So uh, that's a great point again. So success for a lot is money and all those things around it, materialistic success, but I think more meaningful success is when you are truly living a meaningful life and making a difference in people's life. Uh, a lot of people are not able to identify this. You have identified this uh, and congratulations for that.